I had water everywhere. Hi yo, welcome back to Imagine Your Odyssey and welcome back to an episode about water leaks. Yes, we had quite a water leak in our RV and I wanna talk about why. But before I do that, I'd like to remind you to click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much for doing that. Also click the thumbs up to give us a like and leave some comments down below at the end of the video. Now to tell the story, to kind of set the stage for what happened, I went out grabbed my water hose to flush my black tank. Yes, I, on the outside of my RV, I have one of those black tank flushes. You hook a hose to it, you push water through, it goes down to your black tank, it pushes around our little wand and pushes all that yucky gooey stuff down there out of the tank and cleans the tank out nice and clean. So what happened was is I hooked up the hose, turned the water on, and I noticed a few minutes later that I had water coming out from underneath my RV. Now, I had no idea where in the world this was water was coming from, but I did know that I didn't have water hooked up anywhere but right there because we were getting ready to leave the campground that we were in. So I turned the water off, all the leaks stopped, and I went to investigate what was going on. So I had to turn the water on and off a couple of times to try to find out what was up, and I found out that this doohickey right here, which is called a vacuum breaker, has started to leak allowing water inside of my RV. Now, for everybody out there, don't worry about the RV. The RV is fine. We saw it right away. Now, when I say I turned the water on and I started having water coming out of the RV underneath, it only took a couple minutes. So I noticed right away because I was standing there. Thank goodness I was standing there. But we turned the water off, dried everything up, and started to do our research on figuring out what was going on. Now, that led to what's going on with this. So I want to explain how this works. The way it works is the water comes in the bottom right here, comes up through this body right here. Inside of the body is a little diaphragm or a rubber seal, if you will, with a spring on it. What it'll do is it'll push that diaphragm up, allow the water to travel this way and go to the black tank to flush it out. So the reason for this is that when you turn the water off, the pressure comes back this way, the little diaphragm pushes down and allows a little air gap right here so that air can get into the line, let the water drain back down to the tank and not get any kind of siphoning or backfeed into the water system. What I mean by siphoning is that when the water goes from the tank to the water hose and there's no air gap or no air break, or in this case, no vacuum break, then the water can in sense get siphoned from the tank back to the ground where your hose is connected once you pull it from the spigot. So that leads me into how did the water get into my RV? Like I said before, this right here, when we turn the water on, it was going in this direction, going to the black tank. What happens is that the diaphragm inside of here got turned and allowed the water to push past this and come out of this little vent top. So when the diaphragm releases, allowing air to get into this line to prevent any kind of siphoning, there is a little air gap underneath of this hood right here that allows air into the line. So when that little diaphragm got kicked, it allowed the water to get past the diaphragm and get out of this little air vent and was pushing water inside of our RV. Once we did some troubleshooting and realized that we were able to stop it from happening and we didn't have to worry about going to the next campground, we just stopped right there and went to troubleshoot later on down the road. Now, just to let you know, I did test it again a couple of days later and whatever was going on inside of this thing, it didn't happen again. It didn't leak anymore, but it did leak the first time. And for all you RV owners out there, I know that you are highly aware of any kind of water leaks inside of your RV. And if you're anything like me, you do not want that to happen again. So I got to thinking, how can I engineer this thing a little different so that if there is a leak, how can I keep it on the outside of the RV? So what I came up with was a different method of how I can connect the hoses 
as you can see right here, there's no hose going in. It goes into the vacuum breaker and then from the vacuum breaker down the hose to the black tank. So that means that I wanted to get rid of this vacuum breaker, at least for it being inside the RV. So I needed to take the vacuum breaker out of the system and somehow hook the hose up to the outside connector directly. That way I didn't have to worry about whether or not I was going to have any water leaks on the inside. So after doing some mild modifications to the wall and disconnecting some of the hoses, I found that the hose coming off of the vacuum breaker going to the black tank would connect directly to the outside connector. But now that all this was done, you can't just go connect the hose. There's nothing in the middle to break any of the water flow or allow a vacuum or, or disconnect the siphoning or keep water from coming from your black tank back to the hose. So after doing some research online, this is what I found. This is another type of vacuum breaker. The water hose connects to this side and this side goes to your RV. Just like the vacuum breaker that came out of the RV, this one has a diaphragm right here also. There's a little spring inside and when the water comes from this side, pushes through and comes over here, the diaphragm pushes down and allows the water to go through. And when you turn it off, if there's any excess pressure on this side, there is a spring that will return back and allow air to come out of these little holes right here. So I did the experiment and I connected the water hose to the fitting and then I put that fitting on the RV side itself and I turned on the water, it pushed through, got to my black tank, started flushing out the black tank like it was supposed to. And when I turned it off, it broke the suction that the water could have created, which would cause a siphon and prevent it from any of that happening and any water coming out of it stayed on the outside of the RV. Now you may ask where I got this vacuum breaker and I actually found it on Amazon and I'll leave a link down in the description if you so wish to get yourself one too. I don't think it was that expensive. It was less than $20. And in the kit, as you can see in the video here, it came with two of them. It came with some tape and a bunch of other gaskets and seals and a little carrying case that you could put it in as well. So that's the method that I came up with to get this water leak fixed and to prevent it from ever coming back again. If you've ever had any leaks that come from your pipes or your hoses or anything inside of your RV or even a vacuum breaker like this, and you had a different method of which you resolved yours to keep it from ever happening again, please share that down in the comments below. I would love to learn different techniques and ways that you do yours. Again, thank you for coming by. Click on the subscribe button. Give us a like. Keep your RV dry. And until the next time, God bless.